Hi guys, today's video is going to be about problems for designing shear reinforcements. In my previous video, I mentioned about how what are the steps that we need to do to design a shear reinforcement. Now let's look into each problems when when we apply these steps. Okay, this is the first question. A reinforced concrete beam of 250 mm wide and 400 mm effective depth subjected to ultimate design shear force of 150 kN at the critical section near the support. The tension reinforcement at the section near the uh, support is 0.5%. Design the shear stirrup near the support. Also design the shear reinforcement at mid span. Assume M20 concrete and mild steel bars. Okay, so the beam width here is, uh, I'm going to first draw the given details out. Okay, if you're using FE 250 mild steel bars are uh, FE 250 uh, grade steel bars. So, if you're using FE 250 steel here, M20 concrete with the 250mm width and 400mm effective depth. Now, it, it says it's subjected to ultimate design shear force of 150 kilonewton. That means VU is directly given to us. Now, the next sentence, the tension reinforcement of the section near the support is 0.5%. That means percentage of steel is directly given to us and we don't have to calculate it separately. Okay. So, we write down the given details. B is equal to 250 mm. D is equal to 400 mm. VU 150 kilo Newton, we convert it to Newton 150 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. PT is directly given to us. That is the percentage of steel PT is equal to 0.5%. So we don't have to calculate it separately. FCK is 20 Newton per mm square and FY is 250 Newton per mm square. Okay, we already have PT with us. Now now let's calculate tau V. That is the nominal shear. Okay, we find the nominal shear stress to V. To V is equal to VU by BD. We substitute the values and we get 1.5 Newton per mm square. Next, we find the shear stress of concrete. That is from table 19. From the IS code itself, we uh, determine to C. That is the shear stress of concrete by the corresponding value of percentage of steel and the grade of concrete. And we get to C is equal to 0.48 Newton per mm square. Then we find the maximum shear stress of concrete. That means maximum shear stress it can withstand. Tau C max is equal to 2.8 Newton per mm square from table 20, page 73 of IS 056 2000. Now we check the condition and we see that Tau V, that is the shear stress imposed, is greater than the shear stress of concrete. Tau V is greater than Tau C. But thankfully, uh, it is uh, le uh, Tau C is less than tau c max and tau v is also less than tau c max so here tau v is greater than tau c so we have to provide an additional shear reinforcement else uh, chances of cracks will be more so we have to provide an additional reinforcement here so we have to find the shear force value of the steel reinforcement that we are going to provide so vus that is the shear force uh, of the stirrup that we are going to provide or shear reinforcement that we are going to provide PUS is equal to VU that is the ultimate shear force minus the shear force of concrete now we can calculate shear force of concrete with the formula tau C into B into D and we substituted VU minus tau C into B into D and we get VUS value as 102000 Newton now we are using two here we are using two leg stirrups of 10 mm diameter bars uh, we'll, I'll be using vertical stirrups here since there are no inclinations provided we, I'll be using vertical stirrups here um, for stirrups diameter varies from 6 mm to 16 mm so I'm take I'm assuming the diameter value to be 10 mm we can take any value as we want here I'm taking 10 mm and we find the area of the uh, stirrups here since we are using 2 leg 2 into pi by 4 into 10 square which is 157.07 mm square 
Now we find the spacing. Spacing formula SV is equal to 0.87 FY ASVD by VUS. We substitute the value and we get 133.97 mm, which is 134. We will be rounding it up to multiples of 10, that's hence it will be 130. Now we've checked the maximum spacing whether it uh, whether so that actually uh, the distance between the stirrups should be kept minimum hence otherwise what's going to happen is uh, chances of bending will be more so we'll take the minimum value so maximum spacing formula is 0.75 into uh, effective depth and we get 300 mm <clears throat> and we see that the first value that we got is minimum so we take the minimum value 130 mm and we place so we provide 10 mm two leg stirrup top 130 mm cross section at the section near the support now the question has said we have to find the uh, shear reinforcement at the mid span at the mid span we provide minimum reinforcement since the shear force there is vus is 0.4 bd that is uh, 40,000 and we substitute in this formula 0.87 FY ASVD by VUS and we get the value as 341.62 which we'll round it up as 340 mm and we check, check the maximum spacing it's 0.75 into 403 which is equal to 300 mm which is the minimum value so hence we provide um, 10 mm stirrup 2 leg stirrup at the uh, at the set at the mid span of uh, 300 mm cross section now let's look into the next question okay a reinforced cement concrete being 300 mm wide and 500 mm effective depth is subjected to a shear force of 40 kN at the ends the beam is provided with six bars of 20 mm diameter which of which three bars are cranked at 45 degree design the shear reinforcement for m20 grade concrete and mild steel okay we draw the the beam here the given details are b is equal to 300 mm d is equal to 500 mm v is 14 to 10 raised to 3 newton number of bars total number of bars provided in the bar is 6 diameter is 20 mm for each bar fck 20 newton per mm square and fy is 250 newton per mm square since mild steel is given characteristic strength will be 250 newton per mm square now check the question the beam is provided with six bars of 20 mm diameter of which three bars are cranked at 45 degree when 45 degree is given you do not get confused with it to be an inclined stirrup it's actually holding the main reinforcement that means there are only three bars here uh, the three ten uh, at the tension side three tensile steel reinforcement so number that means the uh, the value when we multi when we're finding the area of steel we'll only have to multiply with three bars and not six since only three are the main reinforcements so AST is equal to 3 into pi by 4 into 20 square and we get uh, area of steel. We find percentage of steel since it was not given directly to us. We get the value 0 0.62. Here we find the nominal shear stress. Tau V is equal to VU by PD and we get 0.26. Now we have to find the shear stress of concrete from table 19. Here PT value. Here we are using interpolation method to calculate shear stress of concrete. Why? Because 0.62 is in between two values of percentage of steel, and and when you check the grade of concrete also, it uh, the the value that we are supposed to get that tau c is also in between two grades. That means it's uh, not the value is not there in the table. It's between two values of the uh, when you check the table. Somewhat like this, it is between uh, 0.5 and point, uh, 0.62 is in between 0.5 and 0.75. And when you check the grade, the tau C value is between 0.48 and 0.56. Okay, so we interpolate 
0.75 minus 0.5 divided by 0.56 minus 0.48 is equal to 0.62 minus 0.5 divided by x minus 0.48 and we get to see value as 0.52 newton per mm square and to see max value is 2.8 newton per mm square from the i score itself in table 20 now we'll check the condition here to v is less than to c less than to c and that means we don't have to provide additional reinforcements like i mentioned before it says cranked at 45 degree right do not get confused it to be as in uh, inclined stirrups it's actually uh, bars holding up the main reinforcement else what's going to happen is the beam will uh, you know crack or bending can take place so to hold the tension reinforcement in place three bars are uh, tied upon each of it so it can ho hold on to it so we provide 8 mm diameter two leg stirrups like i mentioned before stirrups diameter varies from 6 mm to 16 mm i'm taking 8 mm here you can take any value as you wish we find the area of the stirrup 2 into pi by 4 into 8 square we get 100.53 mm square now we find the spacing and we get uh, 300 2.46 mm we rounded up to 300 maximum spacing is 375 mm when you substitute it in points and find into effective depth effective depth being 500 here and we get the maximum spacing as 375 and 300 mm is the lower value here we take the minimum value and we provide 8 mm diameter to leg stirrups at 300 mm cross section okay guys so that's all about the design of shear reinforcements i hope you've understood the uh, topic that i've discussed today so with this i would like to conclude thank you